Josh Hochschuler and Steve Gill, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good Thank to you see you. Appreciate Thanks having you having on us. the program. First, I want to hear how you came up with this idea. Uh, tell us why you decided to create this company and, and, and why you thought you might have an edge. Okay. Well, I'll start by saying shortly after uh, school, after college, I moved to Argentina. And uh, they're well known for their delicious gelato. A lot of Italians that live in uh, Argentina, and I fell in love with it while there and decided I wanted to learn the trade. And I apprenticed with a, a family there and moved back to Dallas, Texas, where I'm originally from, and opened a storefront. And that eventually led into manufacturing and, and putting this in incredible product into the supermarkets. I know that you stand apart from other companies because I've tasted it, and I think it's absolutely delicious. But how do you differentiate yourself, um, Steve, in terms of the crowded field out there? Of, of gelato and ice cream producers? So it all begins with the product. The product is different and many people feel better than, than other ice creams in the marketplace. And the product is surrounded with a beautiful package which is very disruptive in the marketplace in a world of cardboard. Talenti comes in this beautiful acrylic see-through uh, transparent package. And then we have surrounded this product and package with a great business structure and um, support the brand with the right uh, value proposition that consumers seem to, to be attracted to and the brand has just seen a terrific growth. In, in terms of the economic model there, I mean, how, how expensive is it to have this beautiful packaging? So it costs more to make. Uh, Twenty has, um, the product itself costs more to make, the packaging costs a little bit more to make, and therefore we sell it for a little bit more. But consumers, we have found, don't mind uh, paying a little bit more for a superior product uh, in an elegant package, and the retailers don't mind uh, partnering with us because they make a little bit more money when selling Talenti. You're right, do. it does look much better. So in, in terms of the growth story, where do you think this can go? I mean, what, what, what does the runway look like for you guys? Well, I think there's a long runway. Um, the, 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 we've had tremendous uh, good, you know, good fortune and tremendous success in the last six years. The brand has grown from one million to over 200 million in sales. And when we partnered with Unilever, we uh, challenge them as the next custodians of the brand that I think Talenti can become the most valuable ice cream brand in the world in the next 10 to 12 years. Wow. It, it has that much potential. And, and the Unilever backdrop is really important because you've, it enables scale? Correct. They're, they're a terrific company with terrific people. They're the largest ice cream uh, producers in the world and in the United States. And just as they selected us, we selected them. We think they're really the best people to be the, the next custodians for Talenti to take it into the future. This must be so satisfying for you. I, I mean, Josh, you know, you started this company, uh, you had a belief in your heart, and now to see it on store shelves and the growth story, I, I mean, congratulations. Yeah, thanks, yeah, no, it's a it's an absolute dream come true. We've truly been blessed. Um, it's just been an amazing ride. Uh, you know, ups and downs, roller coaster, but, uh, uh, it, it's just it, the way it's flourished and, and, and the path it's on currently is so exciting. So how very hard was it to, just to get going? I mean, we talked to a lot of founders and, and, and small business owners today and the regulatory environment is onerous. It's, it, it's tough to get funding. What kind of issues did you face when you first started out? Yeah, it's it is daunting to get started. Um, you know, just like you said, the regulations, getting into the business, having financing, all of these things are um, big hurdles to overcome and it takes a lot of perseverance and hard work, uh, blood, sweat and tears um, and being focused, focused and not distracted by um, things that can lead you astray. Focus on what it is that you're trying to achieve, where there's opportunity in the marketplace. And Steve uh, really helped me uh, from a business perspective, focus in on where the opportunity lied, and together we were able to find great success. Well, there's a great broad and sort of long-term story here, but let me let me zero in on the short term for a moment. Give us your sense of what the customer is doing out there. We're heading into the final couple of months of the year. Uh, this is an important time of the year, obviously, for retail and for business. What does it look like out there in terms of customer spending and customer per, uh, reception? So, you know, it, what I read, there seems to be some some uh, headwinds in certain areas, but with our business, it's it's uh, we feel like we still have tailwinds behind us. What's interesting is we've we've noticed an uptick in our larger pack size. So we our, our built brand is built primarily on the pint size, but as we head into the holidays, uh, people are doing more entertaining and they're um, buying our court package, and um, we're seeing a very nice lift with with our larger package size with Talenti, which is a, a bit new for us and, and a nice surprise. A final question here: Where does the growth come from at Talenti? Let's call it the next three years. New consumers, um, more household penetration, more distribution at retail, 
and new dynamic flavors. And then, of course, that's within the U.S. and then, of course, international. Well, I'm a fan. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Steve, thank you. Gil, good to see you both. Steve, Gil, and, and Josh, uh, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you. Appreciate Great. it very thank much. Thank you very much, Maria.